Guys, there are men out here really living that soft boy era lifestyle. This man's girlfriend has totally got on his program and it looks like she have fully submitted herself to him because it looks like she sent him money every day of the week for something. Check this out. Money for your game. I Love you, daddy. But your haircut can't wait until you get back in the car. Again, money for your game. Look at that guy. She just sent him money every day of the week. She just sending this man money just to encourage him along his way. One of my favorite quotes of this new movement is if she wanted to, she would. Because there is a lot of truth in that, fellas. A woman who really, really wants you, she will spend money on you without asking. Money won't be an issue for her. This woman here is displaying to her man that she's the perfect candidate for him to put a ring on her finger due to her actions and due to the fact that she care about his mental and personal well-being. Okay, I'm just getting off work and I had some time in the office when I wasn't doing anything to kind of do some research on the soft guy era because my last video, I was kind of like, I don't even know what the soft guy era is. I had daddies and uncles and grandpas and they wasn't soft. But now that I've done my research, I now understand what the soft guy era is and it is so fucking hilarious to me so fucking hilarious to me you bitches are mad that these men are turning that shit around on you how the fuck are you mad they saying the exact same shit that you bitches been saying for the past couple of years which makes absolutely no fucking sense um what the fuck is a soft girl era anyway because i thought women were supposed to be naturally soft and feminine so when bitches talk about I'm in my soft girl era, that shit made completely no sense to me because I've always been soft. I've always been feminine. That's not a fucking era. That's just who the fuck I am. So you women are mad because these men are turning that shit around on y'all. And now y'all want to call them broke. Y'all want to call them all kinds of names. But what the fuck were you when you were doing it? What the fuck were you when you were demanding all these outlandish things from men? The audacity and the unadulterated gall that you bitches have. Like, you created these monsters. You, you bitches. So I don't know if any of you guys have seen this trend going around on TikTok called the soft guy era. Basically, it's men standing up to women and saying, no more. I will no longer bring all of these things to the table and you don't bring anything to the table and i gotta say guys i love it i love what you're doing and i support it 100 most relationships the man brings all of it to the table he's the protector he's the provider he's the moral support he sits there he listens and he helps when the woman just ignores him doesn't care about what he's passionate about doesn't care about what his dreams are and what he wants to do. Doesn't support him emotionally. Doesn't bring to the table what she needs to bring to the table to help that man get to the next level. Fellas, I support it. I support the soft guy era. If a woman's not bringing to the table what you need her to bring, then she's not for you. If she brings nothing but drama, chaos, and negativity in her life, she's not for you. I applaud you. We need to bring the dowry back for marriages. Like wives or potential wives should have to gather a huge dowry from their dad or their family in order to basically like bribe the guy into putting up with all the crap. Uh, but she still definitely should be a really good provider. So don't even consider marriage unless you have a really good provider woman. I think that's actually a good idea because 
I'm pretty sure we would see a lot less marriages going on for sure. A lot of families would not be pushing to get their daughter married because they may have to fork over money for that man to deal with their entitled, spoiled Western daughter. And if she's not a good provider woman, she can always go and get a second job or a third job. And I just think there's really unlimited earning potential on the females because they're overrepresented in the colleges. So they're kind of the worker bees of the economy now. So in the soft guy era, it's great that you can just sit back and let these women provide for you. But don't get married, fellas, unless there's some huge dowry in it for you. And as men, we need assurances that if the marriage fails, we get some type of alimony because I don't want my lifestyle to go down. I mean, why would I commit to one female, one provider female, if we get a divorce and she could just leave me in financial ruin? Subscribe for more updates. I'm not going to stop because this trend is fucking hysterical. I'm probably going to make four more of these videos and you're going to hear the most ignorant shit come out of my face. Like prepare to be sick of the ignorant shit that spews from my needed haircut face. Bruh, this is not even my content, but yo, that soft guy era shit, yeah, they cooking with that. Scarface Mark and Lil Goody, they are cooking like shit. And the shit really makes sense though, because it's just like, okay, the women be saying this shit all the time, like, oh, you need to do this, this, and this. But I want the same treatment. What you mean? And the reason why they was talking about that shit is because of shit like this. Damn, my man's was with his girl for years and towards the end of their relationship, he went through her phone, found messages of her telling her friends she finna leave him soon. She's just using him to save because he pays all the bills. Come on, bro. That's sick work. And that soft guy era couldn't have come at a better time because it's just like, that couldn't be me. And, and a dude said, one of the dudes uh, quote tweeting said, yo, them provider niggas get done the worst. And he's not lying. Listen, I'm part of that soft guy, Irish. I'm, I'm on the train, bro. Yesterday, some people seem to be confused. Some people were asking if we're joking, what's the deal with that? So the whole goal of that trend, okay, it's reverse psychology. So it's just to, to all those women on the app or all those women treating guys like like shit in this world, like expecting so much without giving anything, without providing any value, without coming. Like they treat men like shit and they expect us to provide and do everything for them because we're men. But then they ask and demand for equality. It's just the unbalance, like the, the ridiculousness of some of the women on this app. So guys started to stand up and, um, and do a reverse psychology. Basically, we're just using their term. So small dick energy, loose coochie energy, sprinkle, sprinkle, drizzle, drizzle. So all those words and all the thing that we're laughing about is just the way that women would say like, oh, you didn't bring me to that restaurant. When guys are making effort, there's a bunch of good guys out there that are making effort. And a thing that you need to realize, okay, is six figure, making six figure is like five to 6% of population that makes six figure. So a hundred thousand or more. 1% of population makes 450,000. So when you're making those extravagant demands on your man and you say you want a tall man and you say that you want a rich man and you want a provider and you want a carer and, 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 and all that stuff, it makes no sense. And then you have to ask yourself, what do you bring to the relationship? And then girls are like, oh, if you talk like that, it's because you're a brokey. For sure, I'm a brokey. Like, no big deal. Don't, don't worry about my money. And using the way that they talk about some men and disqualifying men that could be amazing men just because they call them brokey. And when the guy is trying to explain and when we're trying to say something and make a point, they're like, oh, that gives brokey energy. And when women on this app say that they have preference, it's okay. I want a guy that's tall. I want a guy that's muscular. I want a guy that make money. I want a guy that made me travel the world. That's preference. If we say I want a nice ass, I want a, a girl that looks good. I want it. Now we're discriminating and we're being asshole and we're being narcissistic and we're being toxic. So this is it guys. It's just the trend like king drizzle drizzle. That That's the fun of it. Like that's why all the guys are in the comment. That's why it's so funny. And look, fellas, let that be the last time we explain to these women what this movement is actually all about. We already told these women that we are out here just putting a mirror back up to their face. 
If they don't get it, they don't get it. In the meantime, we're going to keep having fun with it. So we definitely going to have a time with this and enjoy this moment. But I'm going to start the video right there. You guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought about what any of these people had to say regarding this soft guy era movement. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you in the next one.